What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode here on uh, Seek to Thrill Outdoors. And today we got something um, that we had been finally waiting for. Um, it's our best bag yet to come out of a tournament, uh, me and Alicia. And it was in the pool that we had not a whole lot of knowledge about. Um, we did some pre-fishing in it, learned a few spots, found some fish, and lo and behold it paid off. Um, come tournament time we were able to I think it was, I think we had two keepers coming out of the first plot, first spot, flying over to the next one, caught some there, and the rest was history. Um, the bad part is, as we headed back down towards where weigh-ins were, um, we started working a stretch there, and I think on like five casts, I think we caught like three fish. None of them keepers, but it was still kind of something we wish we would have maybe started on because we couldn't have blasted out from or blast it off from where we were because we didn't have enough depth for our boat because our boat likes to have seven foot of water before it'll get on plane but anyways if you guys haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button drop a like if you like it i apologize it's been so long since we posted one we've just gotten real caught up into going to tournaments and then dove season started and then it was like weeks on weeks where there was just vehicles coming in non-stop that we were working on so we were pretty darn busy and i just haven't sat down to create a video and then when i did i had software issues and so on and so forth i'm going to stop making excuses but if you guys enjoy it make sure you please hit that like button drop us a comment down below if there's anything you guys have to say if there's anything you want us to try if you see us doing something wrong please let us know that down below um and make sure you guys go check out our sponsors for this year dang that um our first sponsor is pkc construction they're based out of Sterling, Illinois. Fantastic people. They do wonderful work and they'll do anything from roofs to concrete to remodeling to building a new house. Anything and everything basically when it comes to households, um, they'll do. And then JTI, which is John Thomas Incorporated based out of Dixon, Illinois. They do crash cushion barriers, barriers, can't talk today, um, portable traffic signals, and I'll leave the link to their website down below as well. So if you guys have any of that stuff that you're interested in or redoing some work on the house, check out that uh, the uh, links down below. And without further ado, this is how the tournament went. all day almost 16 right at two pounds I love the fact this guy just can cut right in front of us. We catch two fish and you think you gotta come over in front of us? Well, we had two blow ups. That's the shit that irritates me. <laughs> Starting already. Am 
might have been the one I just fucking broke off on. I don't know why I broke off on him though. needed I broke off on one that's probably two and a half three pounds which was a bummer but we did have our five bites that we needed um, anyways we got two in the wall now we're gonna make spot change run over to our second spot see if we can get a couple off of uh off of that one and then depending on how the bite is there we'll probably come back up in here there's still quite a bit of water we'd like to fish up in here but with all the boats that started in here we just kind of got put the blinders on and did what we could do and there's another boat up where we we're hoping to go. But we also couldn't get up in there because we didn't want to fish around them. So, like I said, spot number two, we're heading there. We'll see you guys there. Say it's quit. touches don't he see you longer than your last one yeah. all right guys so that's fish number three in the well two of them hopefully we can catch enough to call both of them out because <laughs> they are tiny and right on the line if they shrink at all we're, we're losing them too so we definitely need that to change. Oh, sweet. Big side. I gotta get them out first. Nice job, babe. Thank you. Ow. Stop, stop, stop. Alright guys. How to get this disaster out. Yeah? yeah. It's a keeper. Big side. You hooked up. I'm right behind you. Too good. All right, go ahead. Oh, um, you're gonna have to. I'm coming. I'm right behind you. Yep. Clean snap. Felicia, yes. Good one. Go ahead. Um, you're gonna have to run the trolling motor when you get a chance. Who? 
Ooh, he wasn't hooked very good. He was not hooked very good. He's 14, ain't he? He's chunky. You want me to weigh this one? Okay, so the first two to go are the ones on the left side. If we get to that point, this is probably, I don't know, this one's chunky. Right. Five in the well. Five in the well. He's got a belly to him. Look at how chunky he is for a little guy. Dude, dude. Well, now you did it. If you just relax for a second, I will get this out. Another dinker. Yes! Yeah, I don't like trying to drive the trolling motor. No, you're fine. You did fine. Um, yeah. I'd put your pole somewhere else. No, he's out, so. Okay, so yeah. Um, number four. I think is number four. Yeah. Throw him on the scale, too. I believe it's number four. Take. Ooh, you saved yourself, dog. Down. Down. Nice job, babe. He was right up on the rock too, wasn't he? Good fish. So that's big fish so far. Two. What was he? Number two? Dude. Trolling motor. Okay. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. Hang on. One point eight seven. Hold them. One point nine one. Okay. Sure. Okay. I mean, what the scale says. He's thicker, I guess. They looked up, like about the same length. They were 14, correct? Yeah. They looked about the same uh, length. Did you see a line closer? No. I'm pretty sure he's like right at 15.
right guys well i don't know how much you got to see um hopefully we got most of it but it, they're in the second spot we were able to put a limit in the boat and then we had two fish that were right at 14. i mean they're line pushers and alicia and i caught them back to back fish to pull them two out and then so we decided to go back up to the start of the, our run and work our way back down and we caught one more well we caught alicia caught like five more fish but just nothing nothing to pull anything and then right at towards the very bottom when we were, we were deciding to take back off i looked into one that was about an ounce bigger so hopefully fingers crossed that it's our best bag um, we're feeling pretty confident about that we just need to do something to get that one kicker fish that's all we need so um, we're going back in here to the boat ramp and there's a bunch of eelgrass and some deeper water out towards the the south end of it so we're going to go over there probably i don't know flip pitch a little bit throw a frog see what happens and god willing maybe get a kicker fish uh that's about what we need right now we need something three four pounds that'll help us out but other than that it's been about it so uh we'll see you guys when we get there Yep, I'm switching to uh Huh? My magic crawl? Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit Sit down. 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 Sit